This morning, CGTN Africa anchor Beatrice Marshall spoke to Kenya's national broadcaster, which has the widest reach in the country, about China's efforts to control the coronavirus outbreak and the role the media should play in enabling public outreach measures to dispel any misinformation. During the one-hour program of KBC Radio, Marshall explained the basics, including what coronavirus is and how it is spread. Critics have hit the Chinese government for not being open in terms of sharing information more so on the rate of infection and death. Marshall refuted the claim, saying China has from the start acted in an open and transparent manner in releasing relevant information to the world and seeking international cooperation to prevent the spread of the epidemic worldwide. China is not only doing its best to ensure the life, safety and health of the Chinese people, but also making contributions and sacrifice for global public health. The WHO has on multiple occasions commended China for its response actions, speaking highly of China's decisive response and expressing confidence that China will overcome this epidemic. Marshall urged the media to play a more constructive role in the fight against the epidemic. I started by saying, um, first of all, we have to realize that we are in this together. The world is now a global village. Um, this is not just a virus for China, in the same way as Ebola was not a virus for Africa. If we look at what happened to um, AIDS victims uh, with the AIDS virus in the 1970s and the 1980s, because we stigmatized, the world stigmatized uh, AIDS patients, they went underground and the outbreak became um, larger. So this is a time for facts, it's not a time for fear, it is a time for science, it is not a time uh, for, for rumors. This is what we would say, it is a time for solidarity, not stigmatizing a, a certain community a certain people and so forth so um, in terms of what Chinese media has done Chinese media has been very open in in how the country is trying to deal with the epidemic right it, it is uh, the World Health Organization has called it an epidemic they've said it is not um, a, a pandemic now um, I work for CGTN in Africa and I remember a few weeks back um, actually about two weeks back, we called um, all of African media and we said uh, uh, any media that would like access to our correspondents in Wuhan to do live commentary on exactly what is happening uh, in Wuhan, you're very welcome to help us facilitate you so that we in Africa are not the ones giving you the information, you get the information right from the source. So in terms of being um, open, in terms of being, um, uh, you know, wanting to come out with the facts, I think Chinese media have, have uh, done a commendable job by um, enabling other media, if they so wish, right, to tap into our resources in, in uh, Wuhan and in other centers that the outbreak has happened so that people can get up-to-date uh, information. And this, the link we were providing was a live link. So it wasn't uh, that, you know, you get the information from people who are not at the source. Okay.